It's me, Bunny. And me, Polo Stegredo. We're, We're still alive. We're Polo Stegredo. If you're very confused right now about what on earth is going on, a we channel. do nice little podcasts. And we actually did a trick-or-treating video. I guess we can link that. But we'll also it's link, like yeah, our first video, which kind of talks a lot more about us. Yeah. So, yeah, Pony, let's get started with the video. So today, me and Pony are going to be... Oh! What was that? Oh, what, 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 what's going on? Pony, oh, 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 oh. what's that sound? Oh, the Pokemon repeat. I repeat, I am the Pumpkin King, and I win. Evil all over the world. Bunny! What's going on? Oh my god. Guys, we were trapped here in this horrible cage by the fucking king. Guys, calm down. I'm sorry, Bunny. Guys, I don't know what to do. Uh, oh, it was chill. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here. I know our crew members will come and save us eventually, but we have to film Saturday Night Live. Yeah, and even though we're in the Pumpkin King's cages, we still will seek revenge and also do the talk show. Yeah, as you can see, it's very scary down here. I don't even know what's next to me. Some sort of goofy, gloppy rocket and some fat. Owl and deadly eyes. Don't look into its eyes, guys. I don't know. I don't know if you should. Yeah. Or whatever. We need to tell you guys about our Halloween. Yeah. I have a couple stories of my own from our Halloween night, which was Wednesday, October 31st, 2018. Um, so my crew member went as a zombie tigger, and but she and I went with her friends, while Porters went with the rest of our family. I'm gonna stop. When me and my friends first walked outside to go trick or treating, we saw this little girl. Uh, well, I'm just mommy wanted to take a picture of us, and then well, I, I we saw this little girl running uphill to go trick or treating, and she fell on her face. <laughs> I thought it was really funny, and I was laughing, but and then it was she was like crying apparently, or she was really loudly crying. Miss Mommy starts to walk over and she's like, are you okay? And she and then she gets up and she's like, oh, I was only joking. <laughs> so, what the heck? Okay, first of all, she don't joke about that. Second of all, why? Just why? I highly doubt she was joking, but I, uh, I think, I don't know. It sounded like pretty fake crying. But I, you know what? You think? We're in prison, but we still have to find a way to get a good laugh. Bruh! Yeah. did you hear something cool in the background? Yes, I did. Okay, let's show it. You see this person? Let me know what this is. Anyway, I think it's... Oh, oh my god. Well, we're probably gonna have all spooky things happen to us all night. So, well, let's just get on with this. What are those? Do you have any little stories you'd like to show? I have more. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start off how I reacted to those take one balls. We all know the take one balls. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain it. Yeah, okay. Well, what do you do? I was trying to use you to take one ball. Ah! Oh, Where'd you take one? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. That's what I did. I just and then you sprint it. up there. I see it and I run and I take like sixteen. No, oh, I actually took like four one time when I was to take one ball. <laughs> I don't like it. Not anyway, the sun was gone. It was so hilarious every time I took like one ball, and it was so fun. And this part of would have been shuckish. If I didn't get all these glorious, glorious <laughs> take one balls. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna show another story. This one is probably my funniest one, so maybe I should save it for last. But I'm gonna just say it now anyways. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so me and my friends, we went up to this house, and there was a little kid who was, like, at the door. And we ring the doorbell, and we say trick or treat or whatever, and he gives us candy. And then he goes to me, and he's like, do you want one more? And as he says that, he dumps five bags of Skittles into my bag. <laughs> it's hilarious! And I'm just like, oh, uh, thanks. I mean, like, I love Skittles, so I mean, like, I'm happy that he did that, but that was just hilarious. <laughs> five, four, oh, no. three, two, uh -uh. one. Yushi. I don't know if you guys saw that, but some weird black thing just flew across the room. I don't know what it was. Oh my god. Okay, let's just speed this video up so we can try to get out of here faster. Okay, but I'll shout out the story quick. The scary houses. This one has a foot machine. I'm gonna show a few elements to it. So there's this really cool decorated house. It's one of those weird crap ones. And it was so, so cool. There, and the, it wasn't just a fog machine like hiding behind a bush. There was this gash like ghoul like spitting it out. Wanna, did you get that house? I think so. It was. It was just really cool. Yeah. There's also this really weird pen, like this little box thingy type thing, with this weird like, I don't know how to say it. There's like some creepy werewolf, gremlin, four year old child thing that like roamed around randomly in a small pen. It was really, really strange, but it was also pretty freaky. And there was just a bunch of other really cool things um, at that house, and I really felt like I should have said it. Especially, there's this guy who lives down the street who is a huge brony. If you don't know what a brony is, it's someone who loves to watch My Little Pony, but is, like, older than a little kid. So it's like... And guys, you, you, if you watch our favorite TV shows, you'll know that we like... We're bronies. <laughs> yeah, so he... Usually, like, uh, braids his beard a little bit, um, and wears My Little Pony stuff, and, but, like, this year he wasn't even dressed as a, a pony. Like, th the last many years he usually is dressed up as a pony and has tons of ponies in his house, and, but this year he wasn't, and he didn't even have his beard braided, and I was just a little disappointed, but if you're watching this and you know who you are, um, just, just, you gotta get back into that Halloween spirit, bruh. Wanna do your footsteps? Oh my, I do. I hope it's not the pumpkin cane puddles. We better speed this up right now. If we don't, oh my god. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Since you were trapped in my dungeon, I thought you would want to see my plan. What I don't know. What? What the? What I don't like it. Oh, look at it, huh? Oh no. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Well, we need to finish this video so we can save the world. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Buddy! Okay, so, so in my school, a costume contest. So. Me and my friend we were, um, as a group costume, I, well, my owner, I mean, crew member, same thing, whatever. Okay, there was Zombie Tigger and Zombie Winnie the Pooh. Oh my god. And, I don't even know what that sound is. And so basically, they went up for the costume contest for group contest. And, um, basically how they judge these is the loudest applause is the winner. So, uh, my owner and a friend go up. The most creative group costume. Now we're about 
three people clapping out of the um, 150 people in that room. Um, so, yeah. And then I went out for best group costume, which is different from most creative. You can go up twice unless you win. So, and they get about a little bit more, and they get one person who was screaming like, Woo! I don't know why they were screaming. I think they were kidding. <laughs> okay. So that's how embarrassingly horrible we were. It was just, okay, it was really sad. Okay. Just really, really awesome hats that we oh. have um, at this area. It's not the film machine one. It's a way better. It has this joint amateur wolf, two shirts that are like actually stone, blood like shooting out, not too much though. And almost like everything is moving or interacting. One of the gravestones is literally says, M I Z. It yeah. literally said, They're really cool gravestones. It was hilarious and also really freaky. And there's this witch and this smoke and the pause. Continue. Okay, guys. I don't know why, but I said that. But okay, it's, but it's super cool. It's basically really cool. I couldn't think of anything else really to say. So, why do you have any other stories before we go save the world? No, we need to save the world. Okay, <laughs> let's go save the world. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. oh, looks like the pumpkin king coming. Oh, it, the lights are just flickering. But I, no biggie. No biggie at all. Uh, Porter, I think they went out and not flickering. Oh, 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 oh. He's a fat guy. <laughs> Don't you dare talk to me. Excuse me. No, 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 no. We're not your master. I mean, you're not our master. Silence! Now! <laughs> anyway, I don't care about you too much anyway. Rowdy. Poopers, I thought there was something you would like to see. What? Oh no. No! 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 No, little Topo! Whoa! To the incinerator. Pumpkin dude. Yeah! The fat thing. 